Before Chris Pratt became everyone's favourite lovable goofball, a Star-Lord in Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy. He was best known as Andy Dwyer in Parks and Recreation, who was also a lovable goofball. Anyways, for the first five seasons, Andy was a, uh, shall we say, very cuddly weight, until he was left in London for over half a season just to account for his absence while filming Guardians of the Galaxy. But as you can probably see, Star-Lord and Andy are not exactly the same weight. So the showrunners thought that this was a good enough reason to explain that weight loss. So the only thing you did was stop drinking beer? Yeah, I lost 50 pounds in one month. Now this is absurd. No one, and I mean no one, could lose 50 pounds in one month from only cutting out beer. Doctors would be furious. But let's just have a little look to see if Andy could even first afford that amount of beer, and then could even survive it? Well first of all, the term beer is just a bit too generic to accurately assign any value to it, since the number of calories can actually vary by over 100. And my boy Andy here, well, he might not even survive if I don't do my due diligence as an esteemed analyst. That's why I've scoured every single episode of this show just to find the exact beer. Which, to be fair, has actually proven to be a little bit difficult from the show's love of fake drinks, hiding labels, and whiskey-infused lotion. But early on in season one, we can actually see Andy push off a Heineken premium light bottle off of his amazing table of trash. But you know, that's good enough for me. So on average, you actually have to remove about 3,500 calories from your diet just to lose one pound of weight. And that's if everything else remains the same, which for Andy, we can actually assume this is true, since he literally says that he changed nothing except for cutting out beer for one month. Now, a Heineken light contains 99 calories per bottle, so Andy would actually need to stop drinking 35.35353535353535 or 36 beers just to lose one pound of weight. Well, as we know, he needs to lose about 50 of these pounds. So that means he used to drink 1,768 beers per month. But when you are drinking that monstrous amount, you aren't going to be a chump by buying them individually, are you? No, 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 no. You're going to multiply. So when buying 74 of these per month at $26.5 each, Andy's going to be paying around about $1,960 per month or about 23 and a half grand per year. That's nearly three times the average rent in Indiana just when the show aired and that's only spent on beer. And if we assume that Andy to actually earn the local living wage then there's just no way it's gonna happen. But I'll tell you what, if I can't drink 50 pounds worth of beer in a month, then you tell me what living is, guys, come on. Luckily for Andy, though, he took on the role of Ben's assistant, who had earned the prestigious role of president of the Sweetums Charity Foundation. Now, this basically meant that Ben was a top dog, and he could make any demands on who he hired. This does mean that Andy could then earn the average salary of a well-established personal assistant, which when combined with his wife April's salary, and he could probably live very, very comfortably and still spend all that money on his alcohol, much to his wife's annoyance. So the question you've all been waiting for, can Andy actually survive? Well, it looks pretty bleak for him, considering he does have to drink 1,768 beers in just a month. So let's just give him a chance. We'll say he has a long month of 31 days. That would be 57 beers every day and then 58 beers on the last day. Now, while his weight is actually never shared with us, we will just assume that Andy is 272 pounds, which is 50 pounds more than the 222 pound Star Lord. This means that it will take 616.885 grams of alcohol to take dear Andy away from us. Since the standard lethal measurement of alcohol is 5 to every 8 per kilogram, whatever that means. Or if you were actually 60 kg, it would actually take about 300 grams to be fatal. Surprisingly though, his daily intake is only 496.584 grams of alcohol, which is below the standard lethal limit, and this will ensure Andy's survival. Although I do hear you typing. Alcohol does not magically leave the body instantly. He's dead, bro. Yeah, okay, so 8 grams of alcohol can leave your body every hour, and we do have to account for that. So if we do allow 10 hours to drink the 57 beers each day, since he can't drink at work or when he's sleeping, and he's got responsibilities. It seems that Andy is pretty much gone by the ninth hour of day two. It just just day two. By the end of the month, he would have to weigh about 4,167 pounds, which is the same as a, a corgi get him. So no matter the circumstances, in the end, we must light 5,000 candles in the wind and raise a drink in memory of... Oh, too soon? Bye. 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 Bye.